Hello, this is Mighty Owl. What's going on here? We're outside on the school playground, but I don't see anyone playing. Instead, I see paint cans and drips of paint. I hear kids talking about math. <gasps> are they painting a math mural? They are. Look at this giant hundreds chart painted onto the wall. They used so many colors and painted every number from 1 to 100. How mighty cool. Now we can do our math outside, too. You probably have done a lot of counting on the hundreds chart already. Maybe starting on 1. Maybe starting on other numbers. You may have also counted by tens on the hundreds chart. Take a look. How many numbers are in the first row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten numbers in the first row and in every row. What did you notice about all of the numbers under 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's every number in this column from 10 to 100. Every number in this column has a zero. Our friend Zero the Hero at the end. But what about the beginning of the number? They go in order, too. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each with zero the hero hanging out behind. This is how we count by tens. We skip over every ten numbers and land on the ones with the zero at the end. That's called skipping by tens. The pattern helps us remember which numbers come next when skip counting by tens. But what about other patterns in the hundred chart? What else do you see? Look at this column. What do each of these numbers end in? 5, 15, 25, 35? They all end in fives. Hmm. What if we tried skipping over every five numbers instead of ten? Let's try. Here are the first five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So that's the first number we say when counting by fives. What's next? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five and five more is ten. So ten is the next number when skip counting by fives. 5, 10. What is 5 more than 10? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 5, 10, 15. And another 5 more is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. So the first four numbers when skip counting by 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20. I think I see a pattern here also. Look at the last numbers again. 5, 0, 5, 0. Only numbers from the 5 column and the 10s column are being counted. Can you guess what 5 more from 20 is? 25! That's right! It's the next number that ends in 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then five more is 30. Let's keep going. After 30 is 35, 40, 45, 50. <laughs> wow! You've counted all the way to 50 by fives. If we keep going, these are all the numbers we would count. And we were right. When we count by fives, we only count the numbers ending in five, or zero. Let's try it out. Sue's been collecting some acorns that she found around the playground. She put them in piles. Each pile has five acorns. Instead of counting every single acorn, 
we can skip count by five. Let's find out how many acorns Sue collected. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. That's the last pile. So Sue collected thirty-five acorns. Great job! Eric also collected some acorns, but he's put all of his in two lines on the ground. Those are a lot of acorns. I wonder if there is a faster way to count them all. You know, acorns are pretty small. I bet we could pick up two of them at a time. Let's try skip counting by two and pick them up each time. Here we can put them on the hundred chart as we count. When we skip count by twos, we skip one number and count the next number. It's kind of like jumping over one number each time. We count two at a time. So to start, we skip number one and say two. Then we skip three and say four. Let's try with Eric's acorns. Here are the first two. Two. The next step, skip three and say. Four, then two more. Six, eight, ten. Okay, now where? So far, we have counted two, four, six, eight, ten. On to the next row. Twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. There are eighteen acorns here. Sometimes it's helpful to count by twos like this. But we need to keep track of our counting, so we can mark off our hundreds chart like this to help count. Wow, you are doing a mighty good job of counting. You've been counting by ones, starting at different numbers, and even counting by tens. Today we tried skip counting by fives and twos. It was really helpful to have the hundreds chart to remind us what numbers came next, and. We saw some cool patterns in the hundreds chart. Let's keep counting. For practice makes perfect. <laughs>